Northwestern Wildcats taking the two-hour drive east on I-90 to face the 16th ranked Fighting Irish of Notre Dame for their home opener. It's a lot of work to do for Niel here. Her team down 8 nothing to start the game. You saw that flash up there, 28 consecutive uh, home openers won. And there's Anna Hidalgo. In her home debut and efficient, three for four from the floor. Yeah, it's important. I mean, this is a this is a team that had a slow start against the New Jersey Institute of Technology as well, but they got it going with their defense just like that, turning defense into offense. Andrew DeWolf gets an easy two. Notre Dame looking to push a little bit. And all Notre Dame is they're at their best with three. When they can push in transition, that doesn't always have to be off of a steal. So just like that, an 8-0 run is answered by the Irish, and we're back tied. Lau loses the handle, and Citron picks it up. Quickly up the floor, DeWolf behind the back to Hidalgo, and one! Gene, you don't want to assume because you're at home, you're just going to show up and win the ball game. She challenged her team, they picked it up on the defensive end of the floor, they're pushing in transition, you see the emotion. Nice pass by Anna DeWolf. <laughs> Mel Daly, blocked from behind by Kylie Watson out of bounds. Kylie Watson is going to be big for Notre Dame as this season progresses. Got to go here, three seconds. Citron open for three, and she hits. Can't finish, but an offensive rebound for Adebisayo, and the follow is no good. Oh, what a touch pass to Hidalgo. That was like a volleyball set. And the game was six. Wide open three for Citron. You can't leave her open in the corner. That's her spot. Eight points for Sonia Citron. Her Bailey down low and Watson there with the SWAT. But she's a defensive presence. She's a terrific rebounder. Having her off the floor is problematic for the Wildcats. Oh, and the threes are falling now. Kassan Prosper jumps in on the party. That's that energy. Oh, pick in the pocket there. Hidalgo, an easy layup for two. Gets off balance, and she's able to create that offense. That is a skill. That is taking pride in being a great individual one-on-one -on -one defender. Oh, and by the way, they just signed another one yesterday. So this team is stacked with talent. Citron, the recipient of that great pass. And DeWolf will come up short on a three. Didn't touch the rim, though. So, two seconds on the shot clock, and Citron cleans it up. The poise and composure clock is winding down. She knows it. She gets to her spots. She knocks it down. Cool as a cucumber. This year, just because they, they can hurt you so many different ways. West Bell open for the baseline jumper and knocks it in. Yeah. I think you have to try to keep this team off balance. This is a very rhythm, offensive, you know, team and program. And, and have, they were efficient offensively and defensively a year ago. So you got to find ways to disrupt. And that's not just through the course of a half. That's through the course of a quarter. You've got to make Hannah Hidalgo continue to think and study and wonder what's coming next. College basketball season just getting underway. November's uh, one of my favorite months of the sports season as Hannah Hidalgo once again takes it away and hits a three. Can easily get swayed in watching what she does on the offensive end of the floor, but the defensive end of the floor and her ability to stay disciplined to get these steals, a one-on-one -on -one defense, and then to convert on the other end is impressive, not just for a young player. What is she looking at when she's playing defense? Is she looking at the hips? She looks, she's not looking at the ball. What, what is a defender like her looking for? Yeah, I think she's just got really good instincts. KK Bransford with the ball, 10 on the shot clock. Citron looking underneath and Watson's fouled and will have a chance at a three point play. Right play, the right pass, on time, on target, leads Kylie Watson into this layup. You know, building that post rotation and depth in that rotation. Rich for three. Westfeld in the corner. Count it for three. Maddie Westfeld. 
Um, I mean, just so lethal. She looks stronger. Um, she's she's created, continuing to create separation with that step back. You know, I think Duke is going to surprise people. And one of the strongest teams in the country performing at a very high clip tonight. 110 to 52 is your final. Number 16, Notre Dame in the LIV Cruise.